Hi, in this lesson we will be seeing the concepts of the AD utility called AD controller. First we will be seeing what is AD controller, what is the location of the AD controller utility and what is the, what is the main purpose of AD controller and how do we use it to manage the parallel processing that is the workers and jobs. AD controller basically is run using a command called ADCTRL. So the ADCTRL utility is mainly used to manage the parallel processing in Oracle Business Suite. And just like any other executable of AD, it is also located in AD top bin. The main purpose of the AD controller is to manage the managers and workers in parallel processing. So using ADCTRL, what can we do? We can do several activities using ADCTRL. So when you run ADCTRL, it will show you a lot of prompts. For example, I can check the status of the worker and I can restart a job which has failed. I can quit a specific worker if it is hanging, for example. And then I can intimate the manager that worker failed its job, which means the manager will fail the job forcefully. And whenever I've actually killed a specific worker process in the OS level, for example, then I can tell the manager that the worker has acknowledges, acknowledged the, to quit. And whenever there is some process issue on the OS level, I can even restart the worker from the current machine. So there are different options which have to be used only in different scenarios applicable to them. So what can I do basically using the first option? The show worker status will show you all the jobs which are currently running and which worker is running which specific job. Now let us go to the back end. So here currently there are a lot of jobs which are running. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to basically check ADC, using ADCTRL how these jobs are being run by the workers. So I'm going to create a new terminal, login as Oracle user. Since this is a vision instance which I'm using, I'll have the base location in U01 install apps. So I'm going to set the environment first, then run ADCTRL command. Answer all the prompts. The prompts are mostly related to or similar to basically AD admin, for example. Now the first option is show worker status, and you can see here that each of the four workers is running a different job. And you can also see the status of it carefully that three of them have are running and one has completed. Whenever a job is completed, the manager will assign a new job to the worker. Now, remember this name here, WIPD for example, and it has already changed here. So which means that whenever a job is complete, the manager is assigning a new job to the worker. And remember that ADCTRL can be accessed or can be used only when some jobs are actually running. Which means though you basically come to this menu and you are trying to see any of these options, use any of these options, if the FNE underscore install underscore process table is dropped, which means all the jobs are already done, there are no background jobs that are running in the parallel processing, then you cannot access all these menus. The utility will quit automatically. Now, the parallel processing basically manages the worker statuses and these worker statuses are very very important. So whenever a job is assigned to a worker, it is in assigned status and when the job is completed by the worker, the status is completed and when the job is failed, which I told in the previous lesson that if the job is deferred for third time and it fails for the third time or the overall runtime is more than 10 minutes, then obviously the job will fail. And there is a status called fixed restart. This status comes when you restart a failed job using ADCTRL. For example, there is an option called re so tell worker to restart a failed job. Whenever you use this option, the status of the worker will change from failed to fixed restart. And once the 
parallel processing starts running this failed job from fixed restart it will change to restarted so restarted is nothing but same to running but except that this is job which has failed before and now it restarted running it again and if the job has never failed and it is the first time the job has been assigned and it is running successfully then the status running running is shown and if the worker is idle and it is waiting for the jobs due to any reason then the status is shown as wait so one of the most important scenarios which is used in ad controller is the job usually fails and what dba does is check the log files of the worker fix the issue and use ad controller to use the second option that is restart a fail job sometimes what happens is we have the workers stuck at the os level or or basically they are hanging or they are killed they have become zombie process in such cases basically we can use the tell worker to quit option to quit the worker and if required we can kill the process from os level as well and remember it is not recommended to kill these workers but in worst case yes you can do it so whenever a worker is hanging or basically it needs to be killed manually then what you do is you use the option called tell manager that worker failed its job and whenever you do this basically you have to restart the worker on the current machine and then finally tell the worker to restart the failed job there are several scenarios like this in which you have to use different option based on the scenario there is also called there is also something called skip worker but if you observe carefully in the list of options you cannot see that option here because there is a hidden option called skip worker option which is the eighth option though it is not actually shown here in very very rare cases you use this option to skip a specific job for example i am upgrading my oracle business suite and i found out that one specific job there is no solution and oracle might say in their document saying that this specific job fails and which is expected and but this is not a required feature so this can be skipped in such cases where you have to skip you can actually use the eighth option to skip the worker so whenever you run this eighth option it will ask you which what is the worker number you want to skip so give that worker number then it will skip that worker but remember that this cannot be done every time the the job fails you have to skip a worker only when oracle support says or you are very sure that this specific job is not required and it's not going to impact the next further activities or the next further jobs for example i am running a patch and when i'm running a patch it might be possible that you skip a worker when i skip the worker let's say for example the next jobs whatever you are running you skip for example for a job called a and now it is trying to perform a job called b but this requires the data or some there is some dependency of it for on job a so if job a you are skipping then job b might also fail so you have to be very careful and unless you are very sure you cannot use this option all the scenarios of ad controller are explained in detail in oracle documentation so i strongly recommend you to go to oracle documentation and have a look at the scenarios of using adctrl options